Jessica is here again. And here again outside of Andrews Factory, the now defunct Andrews Sugar Factory, which is in the eastern parish of St. Joseph, which is now closed. And surrounded by a high white thing to keep out trespassers. Andrews was closed in 2013 under the past administration of the last government. It was closed to, to reopen as a multi purpose factory, but that did not come off, so it is now closed. On the further notice, I was told that the government, is this government now is planning to, I don't know if they are planning to reopen it, but I heard some saying that they were planning to reopen it. After the closure of Butley Sugar Factory, which is in St. George, after that closed in 2002, Andrews, was, Andrews and Portville was the only two remaining factories in Barbados until 2013. Now Andrews is closed and Portville is the only remaining factory. Up in the hills here where these houses are is Paris Hill and Andrews Tenantry. So this is the main this is the main route to Bathsheba. <coughs> or the East Coast, Bathsheba, Horace Hill, Paris Hill. Here we hear lambings um, back to the Granny Adams Memorial Secondary School as well, which was once the West St. Joseph. Yeah. Andrews was one of the most popular sugar factories in Barbados, along with Butleys. So the majority of the sugar factories have closed down, like Carrington, Vaultloose, Porters, Hermans, Uplands. And those factories all have closed. And sirs and all those factories have closed them. And the last one to be closed was Andrews. So we only show all the cane, all the sugar cane has to be processed at Portville, which is in the northwestern parish of St. James, just after you pass St. Thomas Parish Church. Heading towards the north of the island. To the left hand side, you will come across Portville Sugar Factory and the Fine Hudson Sugar Machinery and Museum. The road straight ahead will take you back to Grove's Corner and the road straight ahead will take you back to Grove's Corner, Market Hill, Sweet Vale. Golden Ridge and Fisher Pond via Russia Gully. And the road here to the right, to the left, sorry, will take you back to the former bookkeeper residence of Andrew's plantation.
And this plantation is just below the factory. So now we pass fish upon. So this is the tip of St. Joseph, by the way, which is the beginning of St. Joseph. St. Joseph will begin. St. Joseph will be St. Joseph will begin after you pass fish upon. You will see a St. Mark entering the parish of St. Joseph. And that is where St. Joseph begins. And again, St. Joseph is the smallest parish in, in Barbados. And it also is a part of the Scotland district. The Scotland district parishes are St. Andrew and St. Joseph. And they are referred to as the Scotland district because they resemble the Scotland countryside in England. And they are the parishes of the North Coast. Majority of the hills in St. Joseph would be like going on Bathsheba side or parts of that area. I hear some people were saying that it should be changed into Sugar Museum or changed into. Um, Some were saying that it should be converted into a sugar museum or a place for housing, like a housing unit or something. I don't know what they're trying to do with it yet. Okay, so thanks for watching and have a blessed evening.